All right, hey guys. Um, here is something that showed up on Reddit the other day. Thanks to loopsbrother2903, or 03, who posted this in the calculators subreddit. The question asked by loopsbrother2903, how do I get my Casio, I believe they had a 991EX, how do I get it to do this problem? I keep getting zero, and I know that's not the right answer. And they, they even knew the correct answer. Um, and I thought, well, that's interesting. I would have thought it would do that. So let's try it. I don't have a 991EX, uh, but I do have this one, which is comparable to the 991ES in other countries. Uh, here in the US, it's the 115ES. Anyway, first of all, I just typed it in. <laughs> hit enter and sure enough I got zero and I thought oh, okay well wait maybe I need to put it in scientific notation mode maybe it handles maybe it gets more clever and has a different algorithm for for solving these sorts of problems but it turns out sadly it doesn't you get the exact same result of zero let me try just, it's, you know, obviously this is impractical, but instead of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th all to the fourth power, I'll just multiply that times itself four times, hoping that maybe the calculator would react differently, but it doesn't. What if instead of times 10 to the negative 19 for that last number, let's do times 10 to the negative 18, just slightly simpler here. I'm just poking around trying ideas here. And no, I still get zero. All right, well, let's try times 10 to the negative 17. And then all of a sudden it worked. And I thought, okay, now that's interesting. Um, it's times 10 to the negative 98th power, which is really close to going into triple digit territory. So I started suspecting that was what was up. And then here, instead of times 10 to the negative 31 power, I said, let me bump it up to 32, negative 32 power, and see if that works. And it does, 5.96 and, and change times 10 to the negative 99th, so we're still good. And then I thought, well, what, what if we push it to three digit territory, negative 100, which was, is what we would get if we went to 10 to the negative 33. And sure enough, it goes to zero. It does seem that the issue is as soon as you hit the times 10 to the, and then you have a triple digit, whether it's positive or negative, that's where the calculator runs out of steam. Well, wait, what about my trusty TI-36X Pro? It is professional after all, professional grade, not just this consumer grade. This is professional grade right here. This one's in scientific mode. And <laughs> worked on my Casio, and good, it works on the TI. Then we're gonna go up and, so I don't have to retype the whole thing, we're gonna grab that expression, we're gonna go here and change the 31, or sorry, the negative 32 to a negative 33, and try it, and ooh, zero, doesn't work. Exactly the same as the Casio. All right, so now, this next one, Beautiful, get the, get the right answer to a 33 or a negative 33 and try it and nope, zero. So all three of those calculators, including the professional grade TI and the Sharp with lots of letters in its name, those both, you know, I'm giving the Sharp a hard time, but actually if you want to pick on one, it's this one. Casio FX-115ES plus second edition. And it also has this natural VPAM. Pretty sure that's a vitamin that's good for good for your fingers. Well, let's bring out the big guns, all right? So let's go back in time first. HP 48GX here. 9.1 e to the 31 minus, and we gotta do 1.6 e to the 19 minus, and then we gotta take it back to the fourth power. So we do that, and then we hit this button, and now we gotta multiply those together. Boom. 5.963776 times 10 to the negative 106. Kudos, 48GX. Now let's try the 
Swiss Micros DM42. It'll be 9.1, 10 to the negative 31, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. This is the original problem, by the way, the, the very original one we tried. And we're going to the fourth power. And so we get the fourth power, and then we're going to multiply this together and again. Gives us the correct answer. No trouble at all. All right, let's try this in the prime. Hopefully you can see it well enough. And it does give the correct answer. What can we conclude from all this? Um, first of all, I'd say as good as these $20 advanced calculators are, they still have their limitations. There are benefits to knowing your rules of exponents. And the idea being you can break out the number part, the 9.1, the 1.6. I've got to take it to the fourth power. And then I've got my 10 to the negative 31, my 10 to the negative 19th to the fourth power. And then the last thing is, for me at least, it is interesting to explore these things from time to time. Hope you found this interesting.